Project 110 is blinking step motor. This circuit looks a bit more complicated than the previous one and we will turn on the slide switch. Look at that. They, as the LEDs flash, the fan behaves erratically. It spins and stops. And then as the LEDs are blinking, the speed slowly changes. The white LED is flashing too. Now if we want, we can place the red LED directly over the white LED with the positive side to the right, even though you may not see the white LED as well. Here you can see it better but that's not really an important part of this circuit right now, so but so I decided to show it to you. Project 111 is blink, step, beep. We modified the existing circuit considerably, as you might be able to tell if you watched the previous project, and we will turn on the slide switch. As the color LED and white LED flash, and the motor spins in a weird way, the speaker also makes weird noises. It also beats might sound a bit like a smoke detector. Project 112 is day blinker. This circuit is pretty small and the principle is pretty simple. We will turn on the slide switch and the color LED flashes. Now it's called day blinker because as long as there is light on the phototransistor, the color LED will be flashing. If I put my hand over it, the color LED turns off. If I remove my hand, the color LED comes back on. That's because in this particular circuit, unlike other circuits which acted like street lamps, the, cer the resistance in the circuit decreases when there is light, but it increases when there's no light. And now, at this point, the circuit will not work, but now it does. Project 113 is Night Blinker. We modified this project and we rearranged the layout of the phototransistor and color LED, as well as replacing the Q2 transistor with the Q1 transistor. Now when we turn on the slide switch, nothing happens. In this circuit, the color LED will come on only when there is no light on the phototransistor. I, put, I cover the phototransistor with my hand and the color LED comes on. The electrical resistance has decreased, allowing the LED to work. When I remove my hand, light enters the phototransistor and electrical resistance increases, turning off the color LED, just like a street lamp. Project 114 is Night Light Show. For this project features the color organ and phototransistor and we are going to be playing music on a device hooked up to the circuit using the gray jumper wire, the gray jack wire. And it goes right into this jack here. The other jack is for headphones if I did not, and I probably told you that before, but just to remind you. And now we will turn on the circuits already on and play music. Nothing happens, but when I cover the phototransistor, the color organ turns on and the LED changes colors in accordance with the beat of the music. If I remove my hand, 
the color organ turns off. Now in this circuit, it's pretty sensitive to light, but that's because of the resistor that we have. We are using the strongest resistor in this kit, 100 ohms. So we can replace it with either the R3 or the R1 resistor. Now it's more or less sensitive to light. Although covering the phototransistor makes the organ a little bit brighter and it will now be harder to turn the circuit off. Now let's do the R1 resistor. You probably have to shine a bright light immediately on the phototransistor to turn the color organ off. Project 115 Daylight Light Show is similar to the previous one but we will swap the locations of the R5 resistor and the phototransistor. Make sure the positive end of the phototransistor is pointed toward the NPN transistor. Now we will play music on my iPod and now because it's light the color organ is changing colors to the beat of the music. Now when I cover the phototransistor the color organ turns off. Electrical resistance has increased. Now it's decreased since I removed my hand. And probably if we wanted to, I'm not going to do it personally, but you could replace the resistors just like we did in the previous project. Project 116 is buzzer. This circuit looks complicated, but the principle is simple. It includes the speaker, color LED, and adjustable resistor, as well as both photo, as both transistors. We will turn on the slide switch, and you will hear a buzzing sound from the speaker. As I move the adjustable resistor up and down, or left and right, I should say, the sound of the speaker changes. The color LED is barely lit. It may not be lit to the camera, but actually you can still see it. Some green there. Project 117 is higher pitch buzzer. We're going to use the same circuit as in 116, but we will place the 5.1K or R3 resistor over the R5 one using a one snap wire. And we will turn on the slide switch. And now the buzzer will have a higher pitch. Slowly move the adjustable resistor toward the right. Now know that the circuit may not work on all settings for the adjustable resistor. This is the lowest setting. And this is like the highest setting in which you can hear noise. Project 118 is photo light and motion. We'll use the circuits from projects 116 and 117, but we will add the phototransistor across points B2 and B4. The positive side will be on the left. And then we will turn on the slide switch. And now not only will the adjustment of the lever on the RV determine the pitch of the sound, but also the amount of light on the phototransistor.
let's put the circuit under this light and the more light there is on the phototransistor, the quieter the sound becomes. Just the sound a little bit. Same thing. Now for the second part of this project, we will insert, using a single snap wire, the R3 resistor over the R5 resistor. And now the sound should be higher pitched. But once again, the amount of light on the phototransistor will also control the volume of the sound. My desk lamp is the best source of light that I have around here, so that's why I'm using it. And by the way, all these circuits which use buzzers, which produce buzzers, are oscillators, meaning that they use feedback to control the pitch of the sound. Project 119 involves replacing the C2 capacitator with the C4 one. Sorry, I put the, accidentally put the C4 capacitor the wrong way. The plus sign is supposed to be on the right. We will turn on the slide switch, and nothing happens. Now we have to patiently wait. And now, depending on the resistors, the circuit will flash and beep every 5 to 20 seconds, depending on what resistors you're using. Capacitators can control the rate at which a light come, flashes or comes on, or a speaker sounds or beats. Kind of like in a smoke detector, for example. You have, I think, a capacitor that allows a power light to blink every so often to let you know that the alarm is working properly. Just like other indicator lights. We will now place the R3 resistor over the R5 resistor and now it's going to flash more often. Now it seems to actually flash every three seconds or so and beep too. I will tell you more about capacitators in the later projects when we focus specifically on them.